Aqua Lifestyle was recently invited out to Mercury's Lake X test facility in Central Florida. Brunswick invited us out there to check out Mercury's brand new V10 400 and 350 horsepower outboards and some of their new boat offerings. One of those boats was Lund's 2175 Pro V rigged with the 400 horsepower new outboard. Let's check it out. Hello and welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. I'm Glenn, and of the many boats we got to test out on Lake X, the Lund 2175 Pro V really stood out to us. It's truly a drool worthy boat for our friends in the north fishing multi species and our tinny loving friends in Australia. So I hopped aboard the brand new 2175 Pro V rigged with a 400 horsepower Mercury outboard and had Brian Gross, Vice President of Product Development and Engineering for Lund. Tell us about the boat motor combination. How you doing? My name is Brian Gross. I'm with uh, Brunswick Aluminum Boat Group. I am Vice President of Product Development and Engineering. We today are here on the Lund 2175 Pro V. This is uh, Lund's flagship boat. It's uh, known for and uh, most uh, uh, attracted about fishing. It's all about fishing in the fishing environment and the fisherman that wants to get out on the water. We got huge open cockpit space around the boat, a large amount of storage, and I can show you here. This is wow. a rod locker, 15 rod holding rod locker, so space for any type of fishing activity. We have uh, two bow storage compartments. We have a live well on the right hand side. We have another uh, uh, storage locker on the left side of the boat. Pedestal mount uh, position. We have the uh, Lowrance trolling motor, electric trolling motor, with a nice uh, craft uh, monitor in the front of the boat for um, spot fishing and trolling in specific locations. Really gives you ease of easeability. On the front here in the dash, we have the two Lowrance screens. Uh, you yourself can mo modify and, and option out with different uh, sizes for your application. So today we have uh, two, two HDS9 Lowrance screens. One is showing the, the graph of the uh, bottom of the, the lake itself and, and what's there. The other one is showing you know speed, depth, um, water temperature. So and you can program that uh, any way you would like. Click on the links below to check out our setup videos for the HDS. On the dash also we have the mercury gauges. Um, they, those are standard with it as well. And what kind of engine do we have? So as you've heard recently, mercury has just launched their V10 Verado. So uh, the Verado V10 now completes the family of uh, the high-end V12 which is on the upper side, 600 horse. The V10 is a 400 as well as a 350, 350 horsepower motor. And then we back that up with a 300 and uh, what is it, two, 200 horsepower right. throttle family. As well in the back of the boat, we have a kicker motor, so in the applications where you want a um, more controlled speed for fishing and trolling environment, that, that is what that's set up so you can actually tie it in. Very nice. Large live well in the back of the boat. Show you. So we got live well, so you can live well and, and bait on each side of it or, um, and control your fish, fish species. Very nice. So you got a nice uh, tool holder, a cup holder area. The other thing that we have in the back of the boat for versatility is we have jump seats. This is a uh, this, this is what um, you know uh, known product for Lund and Lund brand right. specifically. So this is fam very family oriented as well as just very fish oriented. Right. Large open spaces. Very roomy. Storage. We've got a lot of tackle tray storage on on the side. That's on both sides of the boat. Very nice. Underneath both sides of the console, you have additional 
storage boxes for your tackle. And then we want pack storage some more. <laughs> Additional uh, tackle storage or whatever else you would like to put in there. So the problem with this boat isn't the boat itself, is if, if you buy it, you gotta stock up on tackle just to fill all the uh, all the storage that <laughs> capacity. <is correct. laughs> Factor that into the price, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's your take on the new 400? I mean, what were you rigging these boats with before, the, before this? So, this boat can take up to a 400 horsepower. We used to rig it with a the Verado, the old L6 version. Right. Or we could also, we also rigged it with the 300 um, new uh, Mercury engine that okay. came out a couple years ago. Right, right. So now that we can complete that package with Mercury's new Verado V10, so the V8 was the low end of it, then the V10 is the high, uh, the upper end of it. Got it. Yeah. Now, performance wise, what's your take on this engine and this boat? That's great. <laughs> I mean, I'll show you here in a second, but whole shot getting up on plane, I'd say it's under three seconds. Wow. Probably more like two, thereabouts. Um, top speed in this boat, after, you know, we're probably touching 68 to 70, depending on the people that are sitting in the boat and how you rig it out. Right. But stable, so super stable. So, I mean, it's all usable speed just based on the design of the boat as well. So, we actually, it sticks to the water really nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, Mid-range, I would say probably one of the biggest things that I, I think is phenomenal about it is your mid-range on, on this engine and responsiveness, huge. I mean, it, it's like instantaneous. So if you're doing 20 to 30 miles an hour and you want to get up and go, it's like right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you really feel it. I've noticed that on so uh, not you know, not a Lund. Um, we're on a couple of other boats with the single engines on them. Even the Boston Whaler with the multis. Yeah. And your mid range, like you said, and you put the hammer down, you get thrown back. It's yeah. it's yeah. incredible. It's right there, right. Now. Right. Yeah. So Mercury's done a great job. I mean, they have phenomenal to work with. They're they're there are there are brothers within the company, so brothers and sisters, I should say. But it, it's huge, and, and just being able to have that time and, and work closely with them as they're trying to launch this product, right? Yeah, it's just huge. Fantastic. So I'll give you a whole shot here yep. and let you keep recording. Sounds good. Okay. We're cruising about 30 miles an hour, nice mid-range cruising speed for this boat. And Brian uh, took the throttle and pushed it forward, and you could really feel the boat jump. Video doesn't do it justice, but uh, you could really feel the mid-range torque in this boat. Just fantastic. Fuel economy is uh, greatly improved. Uh, I know that fuel flow and everything for this engine on the boats, uh, all of them are just done a really super job. So we're trying to make sure that it's more efficient and portable. Right.
there. What is yep. that? What is the the hinges on that compartment? What's that? So if you had a board top uh -huh. and you wanted to stow it away but have it on the boat. This hinge is up. Nice. So then that sport top or that canopy that you put up, you can set it down on the floor of the bars run up along the side. Tucked up out of the way. Yep. Brilliant. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yes. You guys really have thought of everything. Almost. Always room for improvements, but <laughs> love feedback from customers and, and uh, individuals using it. And how right. do we make things better? Right? Oh, those are the things we try to incorporate and add to it. Right. Love your wide gunnels too. So that's the other thing with this boat. A lot of um, fishermen they'll put like they they're called downriggers. Right. Yep. And they'll put them out on either side of the. They'll put a pad on it and set them up so they can bolt them right into it. That's the right. intention. So they can put downriggers on it and then... Nice and easy fish. to install them. Yes. It's got all the luxuries. Yeah. It is the flagship, yeah, right. of one. What's the price point on this one? Rigged as it is with as the 400? Right now it's probably around that 160 range. Okay. Yep. Base configuration probably in that 130 range or so. Right. But like you said, it's a do-all boat too. It's not just a fishing. This is, you could take the family and have yes. a great day with the family on the yeah. boat. And that center hole up there is for a ski pole. Ski pole. Pylon. Yeah. You can definitely uh, pull some tubers pull. with this. <laughs> Tuber skiing. Yeah. All of them do above. Absolutely. They definitely tout it as more uh, fuel yes. efficient than the... Yes, the, the engine itself is way more efficient than burning. Right. Well, thank you for taking me for the ride. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh, my pleasure. They're just so quiet, too. I it's know. It's amazing. Isn't it? So there you have it, an amazing offering from Lund, the 2175 Pro V, rigged with Mercury's brand new V10 400 horsepower outboard. If you want to learn more about these boats and engines, lundboats.com and mercurymarine.com. If you like the video, remember to subscribe, press the notification button, and don't forget to check back for more. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.